Welcome to RaiGurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about what is NumPy data types objects. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So, let's understand the basic concept. Then we'll move further with practical demo. So, a data type object or an instance of NumPy dot D type class describes how the byte in the fixed size block of memory corresponding to an array item should be interpreted. It describes the type of the data that is integer, load, python, object, etc. Size of the data, how many bytes is in, that is example integer. Byte order of the data, that is little Indian or big Indian. Fourth is if the data type is structured data type, an aggregate of the other data types, example, describing an array item cons consisting of an integer and a float. What are the names of fields of the structure by which they can be accessed? What is the data type of each field and which part of the memory block each field takes? If the data type is serve array, what is its space and data types. To describe these type of scalar data, there are several built-in scalar types in NumPy for various precisions of integers, floating point numbers, etc. An item extracted from an array example by indexing will be a Python object whose type is the scalar type associated with the data type of the array. So whenever we are working with D type objects, even though they can be used in the place of one whenever a data type specification is needed in NumPy, structure data types are formed by creating a data type whose field contain other than data types. Each field has a name by which it can be accessed. The parent data type should be of sufficient size to contain all its fields. The parent is nearly always based on the void type that is null which allows an arbitrary item size structure data types may also contain nested structured sub array data type in their fields finally a data type can describe items that are themselves arrays of items of another data type these sub array must however be of fixed size if an array is created using a data type Describing a subarray, the dimensions of the subarray are appended to the shape of the array. When the array is created, subarray in the field of structure type behave differently. So let's understand these things with the help of one example, where we'll call have a C continuous memory layout. So as we have created in earlier sessions, always require to import numpy library and assign alias as a np. Then we have to declare a variable. Sorry, we have to declare a name of the array. Then np dot array and we are giving here inside one. Now print the type. For printing, we can directly call as a type of n. And we are again calling print its data type that is n dot d type let's run this and see the result if you can see here its class is numpy and array and the value is integer 64 so data type object with structure array is data type objects are useful for creating structured array a structured array is the one which contains different type of data. 
structured arrays can access with the help of fields. A fields is like specifying a name to the object in case of structured arrays. The D type object will also be structured array. So let's understand with bigger example where we'll create a structured data type containing a 16 character string field in name name and a sub array of 264 floating point number in the fields of grades we are keeping here the same name but type as a inside this name np dot unicode Comma sixteen, and then it's closed again. Comma open round bracket. Set this grades, and inside the grades we are giving here as a np dot float sixty four because grade is not always in the integer value that will contain floating value as well here now let's print this and grades and the second value print name Run this command. Now you can see here we have got F8 that is Unicode 8 2 and U16 is a character. So this is how it works in NumPy data types object. We can always use this as a good functionality in Python NumPy. That's all about python numpy data types object hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider sharing within your circle thank you for watching